Hey everyone and welcome to my review of the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arccast. Now I'm not going to be going into a full-on review with this phone, I'm just going to talk about the improvements from the original phone to this one, uh, since there aren't many changes between the original Xperia Arc and the Xperia Arc S. Now the first improvement with this device, and the most noticeable improvement over the original Xperia Arc, is the new processor, which is a 1.4GHz processor as opposed to the... Uh, original single core 1 gigahertz processor, so this one's still a single core, but we've got 0.4 gigahertz extra, so it's a bit speedier. Uh, on the benchmark it offers about 300 um, on the score more, 300 points more um, on the score. The original Xperia Arc was about 1200, this one gets to about 1500 um, if you aren't running any other applications as well. If you're running other applications, then you'll probably get about uh, 1400 to 1450 on the benchmark. So that's just kills and apps and then run the benchmark in the background while I'm talking about the other improvements to this device. Uh, where's the benchmark? Quadrant standard, there we are. Run full benchmark. Now, the other thing that I noticed that is slightly improved with this device is the battery life. Now, the battery life was no... Uh, was was not amazing on the original Xperia Arc, but they yeah, seem to have slightly improved it on the uh, on the Xperia Arc S. Uh, now for standby time, according to specs, you get about half an hour. Uh, no wait, um, thirty hours extra even standby time. Um, and on call time, you're supposed to get about twenty five to forty five minutes extra call time on three G. Now um, with average use, I've managed to get about six hours twenty five minutes out of this device. About about six hours out of it, should I say? Um, which is pretty good, it's better than I got from the original arc, which was about 5 hours, so it's about an hour extra for using it for pretty much everything. Um, and on the benchmark, we have 1668, that's the highest one I've got so far. I'll just leave that there so it can focus. I think it focused on this anyway, not sure. But um, those are the two main improvements on this device. It also has slightly better core quality than the original Xperia Arc. Um, it's, it just sounds a lot nicer and the loudspeaker seems to have been improved as well. It's not as tinny as it was in the original Xperia Arc. Okay, this is a bit of a camera test between the iPhone 4S and the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc S. Now, uh, 8 megapixel camera versus 8 megapixel camera. The iPhone does seem to give um, the better shot. If you're have a look at this, um, the shot on the iPhone, that's um, managed to fully macro in on that, um, on that section of the grass, it's uh, a pretty nice shot. And then uh, moving over to the Xperia Arc S, um, let's just uh, reload the image, and there we go, that's um, it in its full quality. I couldn't get it to uh, focus on the areas I wanted it to, so um, the grass is um, out of focus, but as you can see the uh, Arcus tends to make the colours a lot brighter. Now these photos will be up on Flickr, uh, so you can have a look at those and see for yourself what I mean here. Um, here's a nice feature on the Xperia Arc S, in fact, um, you can now do panorama shots on it, uh, which I don't think you could do in the original phone, I'm pretty sure you couldn't, but um, I must release it in another beta, I don't know. But the panoramic shots do look uh, fairly nice on the phone itself. I haven't put them onto my computer yet, so I'm not entirely sure how they're going to look on the computer. Um, there's a few failed attempts at a 3D shot. And that's um, the exact same photo as that one just there on the iPhone 4S. iPhone 4S is adjusted more to the clouds, and this is um, adjusted more to the ground. So the iPhone 4S is a bit uh, of a dimmer image. But um, you can see all those photos plus the video side by side comparison at the end of this video and on my Flickr account so you can see them in full quality. Now let's just move the iPhone out of the way. So as an overall then, is the Xperia Arc S much of an improvement over the original phone? I would say yes, definitely. It is a really nice device. It's a lot, uh, it's a lot faster than the original phone. Um, not by a huge amount, but it is no it is a noticeable speed improvement. Core quality and loudspeaker quality are also improved as well as battery life, which is a nice thing to see since the original phone really left me struggling um, trying to get a day's usage out of it. Whereas this one, I find it's rather easy. It's only uh, slightly better, but it's a slight difference that makes uh, a whole big difference in the long run, really. But anyway, it is a nice upgrade, and... Um, I still highly suggest the Xperia Arc S um, and the Xperia Arc as um, 
a possible upgrade um, if you're looking at getting a new phone and you're not really on the iPhone bandwagon and you're not really interested in the Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, since that is uh, really one of its only competitors uh, in my opinion Galaxy S2 is a really nice device so yeah anyway if you want as I said if you want to see the uh, full review of the Xperia Arc uh, uh, of the original Xperia Arc which goes a bit more in depth then that will be posted as a video response to this video and uh, thanks for watching my next video shall be up tomorrow which will be an unboxing of the HTC Sensation XL which has uh, Beats Audio inside which is going to be pretty interesting and um, yeah Thomas Lindsay should have um, his review of um, the LG, uh, LG Optimus 3D up soon so anyway, thanks for watching this video everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one. Okay, hey everyone, this is going to be a quick side-by-side -side camera comparison between the Xperia Arc S and the iPhone 4S. Now, uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out on the computer, but for me and my mates, it looks like a clear one of the iPhone 4S has a lot better than this. Bit a lot more accurate than the RKS. The RKS seems to be making everything a lot greener, uh, enhancing the colours a lot. That should be enough, Tom. So, um, yeah. Which do you think looks best? iPhone 4S? iPhone 4. Or the Xperia Arc S?